finally going to show his face on my channel, so. It is a little after 7 a.m. here in Ohio. It's still very dark outside, but my husband and I are heading off for our very first ever long distance motorcycle trip. We'll see you in Florida. Well, the sun just came up over the horizon. We are exiting Columbus proper right now, Columbus, Ohio, heading down towards Cincinnati, Ohio. This is Jordan's very first ever long, like I'm talking long distance, like more than a day long distance motorcycle trip. And uh, he is behind me on the Dyna. So the thing I was super bummed about on this trip, I was really, really hoping that he could ride the BMW R18 down to Florida because I wanted to have that bike with me when we went to Biketoberfest. It's just such a cool bike and it's gonna get a ton of looks. Plus it's extra comfortable. Unfortunately, the local BMW dealership was absolutely booked up and did not have any opportunity to get my bike in for the two hour first 600 mile break in service it would have taken to have been able to ride that motorcycle. So we're taking both Harleys. I'm not mad about it because I'm on my big bagger, but I feel so bad for Jordan having to ride that Dyna, dude. That's a rough ride. If you guys are watching this and you're familiar with my channel, you might know that I was just in Oklahoma. I literally just did a thousand mile road trip three days ago and we're back on the bike doing another thousand mile road trip. Oh, the life of a traveling motorcyclist. <laughs> we just got to our second gas stop somewhere in the middle of Kentucky. I think we're feeling pretty good. My hips kind of hurt, but I did just do this a couple days ago. It's still kind of chilly out here. Hasn't exactly warmed up yet, but bikes are doing great. All right, well, it is the next day. I'm sorry I didn't close out with you guys last night, but we were, it was a situation. We ended up doing a little over 780 miles yesterday, which is Jordan's by far his longest ride ever. And he did it on the Dyna. So we got down into um, the Macon, Warner Robins area of, you know, middle Georgia, and we couldn't find a place to stay. So we had to continue riding for at least like 30 more miles to figure out where we were going to stay. And we ended up staying in this like super seedy, just like grungy motel. Yeah, but this was our only option other than just sleeping outside. So. It was okay. No one died. But it's time to hit the road and continue on into Florida. We are slowly but surely creeping up on the Florida state line. And I'm just so proud of my husband, you guys. If you're not familiar, Jordan has his own YouTube channel and he's kind of talked about some of the reasons why he doesn't do long distance trips with me. And part of that reason is because he has back issue, uh, issues. He did pretty intensive physical labor, you know, his basically his whole life growing up and it really messed his back up in his late 20s, early 30s. So it's just been awesome seeing him like think, you know, be defeated and think like I can't do these things with her because I physically can't do them to being able to find out the things that works for him, how he can overcome the issues, what helps. And it's just I, I love it. I adore having him with me and I'm just really proud that his second long distance trip ever on a motorcycle is he freaking rode to Florida. Like that's a thousand miles one way for us. And that's, it might seem like not very impressive to a lot of people, but it is like a thousand miles. It's, unless you do it all in one shot, it's exhausting. Like it's, you got to break it up. So we made it. I got both my bikes right back there. We are officially at the meet and greet at Seminole Harley Davidson. Let's go. Well, good morning. It is the next day. Jordan and I got up early and headed out to get some coffee and I just had an amazing time at the Seminole meet and greet yesterday. I didn't focus too much on filming it because I was really just there to meet you guys and not make a big YouTube video out of it. So for those of you who came out and showed up and showed appreciation, it literally means the world to me. 
today we're gonna be hanging out with some of the blockhead crew again and just seeing where the day takes us. <laughs> How does it taste? Mm, let me give you a taste. If you're lucky you got me eating ice cream here, all right? Usually I'm way too manly for this stuff. I just thought I'd take it down a notch for a blockhead over here. So <laughs> thanks. No problem, man. I don't want to be aggressive. Howdy, bud. <laughs> oh, delicious. Okay. <laughs> you even got me eating a little bit of ice cream, dude. a real taste test. Normally I only but do this at home. Normally I eat ice cream like a man. The spoons turn purple. Alone in the dark at 3 a.m. with the fire. With the Shay's ice cream with the freezer door open crying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like extra salty because of the triggering. So glad I got that on camera. <laughs> so it's the second day here in Florida. We are hanging out with Blockhead Moto, Shay Tree Surge, and Shay Lacey because Shay Tree and Shay missed their flight. So we get a couple little extra hours with them today. Currently in Sanford, Orlando, or Sanford. Yeah, I don't know anywhere. There's a giant food truck festival happening, so we're gonna cheat on keto just a, just just for a day. Well, hi. I apologize, you guys. This video has kind of been all over the place, but I'm just trying to document some of the cool things that we're doing, and we're from out of town, so. People, like I ask questions about things and people just kind of look at me like you're not from around here, are you? But we are sitting at this cute little bar watching the sunset. Oh, hold on. Look at that. It's perfect. Have you been having a good time? Yes. Okay, me too. I think we're gonna go have some more fun tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, we're officially getting tattooed at the Blockhead Garage grand opening. You guys need to go follow Matthew Ruby over on Instagram. It's right here. And I can't wait to show you what we're getting because it's kind of bold for me. I have a lot of tattoos. This is going to be kind of bold. So I'm going to be one of those girls that got a little lightning bolt for my yip yip hand. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. Bam. How's that feel, honey? Not bad. Actually. I know he's super light-handed. You got a lot. Yeah. Me too. Like it, Matt. You're crushing <laughs> it, man. <laughs> you are cranking them through. Thank you so much for coming out to this event. We're having an amazing time. Let's go see what's going on outside.
What's up, weirdos? It's her two wheels here hanging out at Blockhead Garage. Hanging out while my man Mike Branch takes that bike for a ride. We're hanging out here. Let me tell you what, baby. Uh, what, what I love, my favorite thing about this is what Jess sets me up with, dude. Everyone is like, what's going on between you and Jess? Or like, what's happening between you and her? Yeah, tell Nothing, him. nothing, tell baby. Him. Nothing but desire, actually. But what really happens is uh, living vicariously when she sets me up with all them other girls. I got you. <laughs> yeah, Joel just walking back. <laughs> you know what? Let's call her two wheels. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm ready to like unsub friend from him and we need to go un unveil his head. <laughs> I'm sitting here. How long can like, I improv? Unrip off the line. Crazy. <laughs> I was like, please press the button. Yeah, no. I can't hear you. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's, let's go. Do it. Come on. Ha, ha, ha.
Are you good? <laughs> you can see my reflection, that was awkward. <laughs> Chris! Action! Why are you so talking to Mike? Sorry. I heard he looks like Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Shay Tree said he's black. Shay, she said, 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 she said